published 1135 EDT, the 13th of September 2017, updated 1158 EDT, the 13th of September 2017. A governance expert fired by FIFA in May has accused the leadership of world football's governing body of interfering with his work, ignoring rules and removing him in order to stay in power. Speaking to MPs on the Digital, Culture, Media and Sport Committee, Miguel Maduro gave a devastating indictment of FIFA President Gianni Infantino's commitment to reform and said only external pressure will force the organization to change. Appointed as chairman of FIFA's Governance Committee in May 2016, the Portuguese academic was replaced, without warning, 11 months late after falling out with Infantino over several sensitive decisions. FIFA boss Gianni Infantino has been accused of interfering in plans to block Vitaly Matko. Miguel Maduro claimed he was fired after falling out with Infantino over sensitive decisions. Foremost among those was Maduro's refusal to allow Russian Deputy Prime Minister Vitaly Matko to stand for a seat on FIFA's council because it was a clear breach of the rules against governmental interference in football. Responsible for approving candidates Maduro had expected Infantino's support, particularly as the newly elected president had approached him to help restore FIFA's reputation following the scandals of the Sepp Blatter era. Maduro told the MPs, however, that when he raised objections to Mutko's candidacy, Infantino made his opposition very clear. According to Maduro, Infantino said blocking Mutko would have a negative impact on the 2018 World Cup in Russia and he believed there was no evidence the former Russian sports minister had been involved in the state-sponsored doping program revealed by a world anti-doping agency investigation last year. Russian Deputy Prime Minister Mutko Wright tried to stand for a seat on FIFA's council for Maduro, the latter was an issue for others to decide he was blocking Mutko for the simple reason that having a Deputy Prime Minister on the council made a mockery of FIFA's actions against some associations for political interference. Infantino's position on Matko became even clearer when Secretary-General Fatma Samura was sent to meet Maduro. The Secretary-General made it clear to me that it was extremely problematic, more than that. She said we needed to find a solution to declare Mr. Matko eligible because otherwise the World Cup would be a disaster and the continued presidency of Mr. Infantino would also be in question, Maduro said. Maduro stood firm despite Infantino expressing his great concern and accusing him of trying to impose rules retrospectively. In response, Maduro said he was simply implementing rules that had previously been ignored. Maduro described Infantino as a man who, he believes, started with the intention of tackling an embedded culture that is extremely resistant to independent scrutiny but who has chosen to survive politically. Infantino allegedly claimed blocking Matko would be very bad for the 2018 World Cup. The former Portuguese Minister for Regional Development said this systemic culture comes from the ground up and there are associations and confederations that do not understand what good governance looks like or why it is even desirable. FIFA is a system of rules without the rule of law, he explained. Over more than an hour, Maduro detailed various issues, including how the Asian Football Confederation refused to act on his recommendations to increase female representation and the African Football Confederation ignored his request to give the candidate a fair chance in a FIFA Council election. But the session opened with a perfect example of what he said was wrong with FIFA's governance. When Maduro was sacked earlier this year, the heads of the Ethics Investigatory and Judicial Committees were also removed. An act that has been widely seen as revenge for them doing their jobs too diligently.
Infantino pictured with Russia President Vladimir Putin L at World Cup 2018 venue this month DCMS committee chairman Damian Collins had hoped to question the former investigations chief Colonel Borbley as well, and was asked by Borbley to write to Infantino for permission. That permission was denied and, in a letter from Samura, Collins was told Borbley could face criminal action if he spoke to the committee. Maduro, on the other hand, said he was more than happy to take advantage of parliamentary privilege, which provides protection from legal action in British courts, to speak freely about FIFA, as there was an obvious public interest defence. He also pointed out that Infantino should have passed on Collins' request to the Independent Ethics Committee and not his right-hand woman. FIFA has not responded to a request for comment.